Good morning children welcome back to mathematics lecture as we have al already learned about point ray line line segment in the last video we are going to continue the chapter with some more concepts in this video so let us go to what all we are going to learn in this video along with the topics we are going to again solve one more assignment with the questions are already provided in the video with answers so let us begin with the lecture the first thing that we are going to learn in today's video is plane next we are going to learn about concurrent lines then we are going to learn about parallel lines and intersecting lines next collinear points and at last there is an assignment based on all these four topics at the end of the video so let's go to the first topic plane now what is plane see you all can see a wall at home or the floor when you see both the figures at your home it's a flat surface it extends to all the directions like east west north south in all the direction it is extended to any limit so any such figures or things which is a flat surface extended on all the four directions is called a plane see we have a diagram showing its extension of a uh, like in all the directions of a plane the first diagram we can see a plane with the name p the second diagram again we have a plane which shows the symbol of extension on all the four sides this shows that the plane can be extended to all the four sides at any limits now let's learn what is plane a plane is a flat surface which extends in all directions without any limits that means plane is any flat surface let it be wall or your floor or the a page of a book even your book is a flat surface so all these things are extended in any directions it may it is not so small it is extended in all the four directions and it is in a flat surface form next a floor or a wall has a flat surface as i said you in the example they look bigger right in our home when we see the wall of different rooms all are big not small all are of different sizes but all are a flat surface now they look bigger as it extends in all directions a plane is represented by a four sided closed figure plane is represented by a four sided closed figure see this four sides all are linked to each other and it forms like a box form which is closed from all the ends so the plane is represented by a four sided closed figure a plane is named using a capital letter plane is named using a capital letter as given in the figure like see here up we have first figure here the plane is named as plane p so p is in the capital letter so this is something what we what we learn now plane plane is a flat surface which extends in all directions without any limit how we can name a plane we can name a plane using a capital letter that is plane p or plane a plane x plane c or any such alphabet from a to z now next what is the second topic that we are going to cover in this video is concurrent lines now going to the second page what are concurrent lines now see this diagrams provided here in all the diagrams we can see that using only one point in the middle using only one point in the middle like o point p point a we have many lines in each diagram we can see many lines in each diagram that passes through the single point in the first diagram i can see different lines that passes through point o in the second diagram i could see different line that is point that is passing through point p in the third diagram i could see many lines passing through point a now 
वॉट इज दिस वेन टू और मोर लाइन्स पास थ्रू वन सिंगल पॉइंट सच लाइन्स आर कॉल्ड एज कंकरेंट लाइन्स वेन टू और मोर लाइन्स पास थ्रू अ सिंगल पॉइंट सो इन द फर्स्ट डायग्राम आई कुड सी लाइन सी डी लाइन पी क्यू लाइन ए बी लाइन आर एस ऑल पासिंग थ्रू पॉइंट ओ नेक्स्ट आई कुड सी लाइन एल एम एन ओ पासिंग थ्रू पॉइंट पी इन द लास्ट डायग्राम सी आई कुड सी लाइन एल एम एन ओ पासिंग थ्रू पॉइंट ए सो ना ऑल दीज लाइन्स लाइक ए बी पी क्यू सी डी आर एस लाइन एल लाइन एम लाइन एन लाइन ओ ऑल दीज लाइन्स आर कॉल्ड एज कंकरेंट लाइन्स ना नेक्स्ट हियर लाइन पी क्यू लाइन ए बी लाइन सी डी लाइन एल लाइन ओ एज ए सेड यू ऑल दीज लाइन्स आर नथिंग बट कंकरेंट लाइन्स ना नेक्स्ट द पॉइंट एट विच दे इंटरसेक्ट ना हियर द पॉइंट एट विच दीज लाइन्स इंटरसेक्ट is called as point of concurrence so in the first diagram the point of concurrence is point o in the second diagram the point of concurrence is point p in the third diagram the point of concurrence is point a now the next topic that we are going to learn is collinear not sorry the next topic that we are going to learn is parallel lines and intersecting lines now parallel lines and intersecting lines what is parallel lines lines which lie on the same plane but do not intersect are said to be parallel lines lines which lie on the same plane just now we learned about the plane it's a flat surface so on any flat surface if there are lines that lie on the same plane in that same flat surface but they do not intersect each other they are away from each other if it is extended also they are not intersecting such lines are called as parallel lines so now see in this figure there are two lines the first line is line ab second is line cd both these lines are lying in the same flat surface here and they do not intersect each other that means they do not pass each other through any points they are different away from each other even if i extend from right or from left of any of the arrows still they won't intersect each other so such lines are called as parallel lines now in this figure line ab is parallel to line cd it is symbolically written as line ab see the symbol of how to write parallel to we have two lines in between the line ab and line cd so this is a symbol of parallel line showing the parallel form so line ab parallel to line cd now what is intersecting lines if two lines of the plane again in a plane i have two lines but here the lines are intersecting each other at a point that means they are passing each other at a point such lines are called as intersecting lines see the figure i have a line m and a line n both are passing each other through a point intersecting each other at a point o so here line m and line n are intersecting lines the point at which they intersect which is the point they intersect here the point is o so point o is a point where line m and line n is intersecting each other hence point o is called as the point of intersection next line m and line l are intersecting lines line m and line l line n sorry intersect at point o so this completes our topic parallel lines and intersecting lines next we come to collinear points the last topic of this lesson that is collinear points let's learn what is collinear points i have a diagram here that shows many points drawn and three points which are in a line now what does this mean if there are three or more than three points and if a line can pass through three or more than three points then the entire three or more than three points are called as 
collinear points. Now see one more diagram. Here again I have three points A, B, C and on the other side I have points P, Q, R. But see in the first part A, B, C are not in a straight line. They are away from each other and the lines that are made, they are made using only two points. But what is the condition of collinear points? It should be minimum three or more than three points to have a line to be made using all the three points which can be said as the three points are collinear points. Now let's learn what is collinear points. When three or more points lie on the same line such points are called as collinear points. See in the first figure three points point A, point B, point C all line a same line but point D, point E, point F doesn't line line a same line they are away from each other they are not in a straight line as well hence point A, point B, point C are called as collinear points point D, point E and point F are called as non-collinear points in the second figure point A, point B, point C are called as non-collinear points and point P, point Q, point R are called as collinear points. In the figure 1, points A, B, C and in the figure 2, points P, Q, R are collinear points. The points that do not lie in the same line are called as non-collinear points. Just now we learnt it. What are collinear and what are non-collinear points? So here is the definition of non-collinear points. The points that do not lie on the same line are called as non-collinear points. So in the figure 1, points D, E, F and in the figure 2, points A, B, C are non-collinear points. Now, we have completed with the lesson. We have completed with all the topics that were left in this video like plane, concurrent lines, play, uh, parallel lines and intersecting lines, collinear points. So this completes our entire chapter that is basic concepts in geometry. So again I have an assignment based on all these four topics here. So let's go to the assignment part. Now what is the assignment? Look at the given figure and answer the following questions. Students, here you are given a figure having four lines drawn vertically and horizontally. Here two lines are intersecting the other two lines which is drawn horizontally. Now, what is the first question? Name the parallel lines in the figure. Now, what do you think? Which two lines can be parallel lines? Is it M? Is it line Y? Is it line X or L, line L? Children, uh, what I taught you, parallel lines are those lines drawn in a plane which do not intersect each other if they are extended also they do not intersect each other now here if i extend line x and line l they will intersect each other at a point after extending at a particular direction but line m and line y if at all i extend them from any side they won't intersect each other so which are the parallel lines given in the figure they are line M and line Y are the parallel lines. Now next question, at which point does line L and line M intersect? Line L, this is a line L and line M intersect at point A. Now next question, are the two lines line A, L and line X parallel? line L and line X are they parallel just now I explained you if the parallel lines drawn on the plane surface are extended to a limit and they intersect at any point they are never parallel but if I extend two lines to any limit and they do not intersect each other they can be called as parallel lines so as in the question if I extend line L and line X they will intersect each other at a point so they are not parallel lines d is the point of intersection of which two lines go to d now see d is the in point of intersection of which two lines line x and line y so d is the point of intersection of line x and line 
why so here we complete with our lesson with an assignment now in the next video we'll be solving the practice set of this chapter so thank you study well make a note that you write each of these names with its diagrams with its definitions and properties in your book one after the another once you complete writing the definitions and properties and diagrams you can start with the assignment in the from the fifth page of this video once you complete all these five pages the next video will be uploaded where we are we are going to solve the practice set thank you